Hello, lovelies. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. And I am super excited for tonight's topic of the video. And I hope that some of you can join me live because it's always more fun when people are doing it with me. I love it. Love it. Love talking to you guys. So here we are, and I just got off of a live. I did an hour and 20 minute live in a group for single moms. Super fun. And we talked about stress and trapped emotions and things like that, which really segues really good into this video that we've been planning. I've been planning for like a week because I wanted to talk to you guys about getting rid of some of those old emotions and stressors that are holding you back by using something called tapping. It has other names, EFT, some people call it TPT, RPR, like there's all kinds of different names for it. But basically the simple description is tapping and we are gonna talk about that. But first I wanna talk about why you would wanna do something like that in the first place. So um, basically, first of all, if you don't know me, you probably do because you're in this group. But if you don't, my name's Annette. I'm a naturopathic doctor, certified life coach, and certified hypnotherapist. I also am a mindset coach, and I am the person who created the Audaciously Confident Blueprint, which is a program for women who want to master their weight and their confidence. And this is part of one of some of the things that I teach them, some of the things that we talk about in that program. And the reason why this works so well is if you're, um, if you understand quantum physics, which is basically in a very simple sense, like the law of attraction and vibrational energies. Um, so this brings that into play as well as, um, some of the Chinese like acupuncture and the chi, like the pathways, the energy flows through the body. And it's a way of releasing and letting, like getting, clearing the blocks that are holding that energy inside of you and keeping you from being successful at all of the things that you want to do. And especially like losing weight or letting go of past memories or emotions that are holding you back or keeping you stuck that maybe you don't even know what they are. You just, you know, you just know that you're stuck and you're not sure why. So, um, this is kind of like a, um, I don't know, it's, it's really simple and it doesn't seem like it's something that would really work. It doesn't really like seem like it's gonna be crazy beneficial to people, but I'm here to tell you that it is. It's been beneficial to me. It's been beneficial to thousands upon thousands upon thousands of other people. There are videos on YouTube on how to do it. There are books, many, many, many books written on the topic. And even like therapists and counselors use this method to help their patients do like what I just said, like get rid of some of those things that your body is holding on to. And um, it's a super helpful. And like I said, it's very simple. It's something you can do at home. Um, one of the things, one of the reasons why I never really used this method for many, many years, I've known about it for probably 15 years, um, because I, I didn't understand that it was as flexible as it is. So the tapping that I was exposed to years ago was always someone guiding you and, and saying specific words. And it felt like to me you had to be really specific to make this work. Like you had to know how to make it work. You had to have like the keys to the kingdom in order to get the, the things to happen. But what I've learned over the last several months is that there are no keys to the kingdom. You can do this yourself and you can't really even mess it up. So one of the really good things about it is that your subconscious doesn't hear the word no. So if you're practicing and um, you're doing some tapping, you can actually say things 
like, let me give you an example. I have an example. Like, sorry, sometimes when you're doing a live, your brain cannot uh, pull out specific things. Um, your brain doesn't hear the, the no, the word no. So you can say things that um, I don't feel well. But your subconscious hears, I feel well. I know it seems really counterproductive, but it's really true. Um, and when you're doing this, you're actually using a specific pattern of tapping that opens up the pathways to flow to get this stuff out of your body. To get it out of your body. So you want to be careful. I mean, seriously, I don't think you can mess this up. I mean, there are some things that you could say that you wouldn't want to say, like, I'm ugly or whatever. But I mean, you don't want to tap that belief into yourself. But I really, honestly, I don't think you can mess this up because the way I do it and the way that's been working for me is really just, it's you're just word vomiting. You're just saying all the things. You're getting all the things out. And the benefits of doing this are you, you're getting rid of avoidance and blame and self-pity and shame and guilt and anger and all of the things that are stuck in your body that you've been holding on to that are keeping you stuck where you are. And you're able to get it out. And what's really cool about it is as you're doing it, it can flow and flux and change through the process. It changes as you do it. And you can literally like switch your complete thought process in a matter of minutes. In a matter of minutes. So don't worry about saying the words no or not. It's okay. You don't have to formulate like these crazy sentences that make all kinds of sense. Um, some of the old stuff was you had to use positive affirmations and you had to say certain phrases to make it work. But it's this is the process of tapping is the process that makes it all work. And you can say whatever you need to say. You can say anything. Because what's happening is you're, you're allowing yourself to, to feel, to think, to speak the emotions, the things that are bothering you, and get them out. I just want to check real quick and make sure that this is live because I saw a person hop on a second ago and then they went away. So I'm wondering, yep, it's live. Good deal. Perfection. So um, if you guys didn't see, um, I did a stop technique video earlier today. I just uploaded it. It's not new. But um, I thought I would share that with you guys. So tapping, 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 tapping. If you're stressed, if you're stuck on something, if you're just irritated with yourself, you can do tapping. You can do whatever. So um, for example, say, let's just make something up. Say I had a flat tire on my car. It's pretty stressful, huh? So you're, I'm on my way to work. And all of a sudden I feel the flip, 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 flip. It's like, oh crap, I got a flat tire. So I pull over and I'm in my dress clothes, you know, high heels. I got my hair fixed. I'm on my way to an appointment. I'm on my way to work. And um, suddenly I'm delayed. I don't really want to get dirty. I don't really want to change a tire. I mean, just let's be honest about it. I don't want to change a tire. I know how to change a tire, but I don't want to do it. So I'm on the side of the road and I have a flat tire and I'm all dressed up pretty. I don't really want to be greasy or dirty or nasty. And you know, I probably can't break the lug nuts loose anyway. So instead of losing my mind and getting all crazy and crying and trying to figure out how to fix it, I just call a tow truck and I say, Come rescue me. And then while I'm waiting for the tow truck, I make sure that I'm in a safe place, you know. 
I don't really know. Honestly, I haven't had a flat tire in a really long time, but they say you shouldn't sit in the car. I don't know. Whatever the thing is. Pretend we're in a safe place. And we are going to tap. We're going to tap about the feelings that I have about this flat tire. And here's the rub. Here's the cool thing. Here's the quantum leap. Here's the amazing part about this. The feelings that I have that are resulting from this flat tire, this is my imaginary flat tire, are feelings that are bubbling up from my past, most likely. So I have a flat tire. I'm gonna be late for work. Oh my God, does that mean I'm gonna get fired? I'm gonna be late for my appointment. Oh my God, I'm gonna be embarrassed. Do I have to get dirty? Oh my God, I'm gonna ruin my brand new dress that I just bought. There's so many things that can pull up. So many things. Um, your ability to change the tire, so many thoughts can bubble up. So what you do while you're sitting there patiently waiting for someone to rescue you, you, you tap. And what you do is you say the things that are coming to you. So the tapping points are kind of the top back side of your head, like right in the middle towards the back. That's tapping point number one. You don't have to tap hard, kind of tall. You don't have to tap hard. You're just gently tapping. Don't bruise yourself. Top of the head. And the second place is right here by your eye. Now I'm using my right hand on the right side of my body because that's what I'm comfortable doing. You can also use both hands if you wanna use both hands. Some people do both hands. And then the next one is here and then here and then here and then here right here on your collarbone like right there in that little divot right there by your collarbone underneath like the, the soft spot right there I'm kind of meaty right there I don't know about you but I'm kind of meaty right there there and then under your arm so the right side of your body is the, oh my gosh, I always get this wrong. Hold on a second. The left side of your body is the receiving side, I believe. And the right side of your body is the giving side. I can't remember. I'll have to look that up. I don't remember. But anyway, using the right side is um, recommended by some people. So that's the way I do it. But sometimes I do both hands. And you're welcome to do whatever works for you. I just would say left hand is less less like less good it's more of a sealer you want to do the right hand so right hand or both and then you're going to do top eyebrow side of your eye not on your temple but right by your eye on the bone right there then below your eye on this little soft spot on your cheek right there and then right here under your nose and then under your lip on your chin and then right here so Right there on your collarbone. See that? My collarbones don't stick out, but told you I was meaty. Right there. And then under your arm. And you just keep doing it over and over and over again. And if you accidentally forget a spot, don't worry about it. Just move on. Keep going. The rules to this are that there are no effing rules. Just do it. Just keep doing it. So, and you might find that you get stuck in one spot and you're just doing it for a few minutes, whatever. This is for you. You do it, whatever, however it works best for you. Make it happen. Do it for yourself. It'll be great. So let's pretend that I have a flat tire and I have all these things going through my mind. So I decide that I'm, I call the tow truck. Somebody's coming to rescue me. I'm going to tap while I'm waiting. So I, I might say something like, I can't believe I had a flat tire today. I am so angry. Oh my God, I'm so angry. I am angry. Why am I so angry? Oh my God, I'm angry because I'm gonna be late. What if I lose my job? Oh my God, what if I lose my job? I can't even imagine what that would be like. I'm like what if I, oh my God, what if I lose my job? Okay, I'm probably not gonna lose my job. Okay, well, I'm still angry though. Why am I angry? It's inconvenience, makes me sad. 
makes me angry. I remember one time I had a flat tire and it turned out to be this horrible thing. And then they found something else that was wrong with my car and it cost me like $5,000. Oh, that's why I'm so upset. I'm afraid that it's gonna cost me a lot of money. That explains everything. So I'm really not upset about having a flat tire. I'm really upset about the possibility that it might cost me $5,000 like it did the last time. But that's not gonna happen this time because it's just a flat tire. My boss will forgive me. My appointment will wait. I don't have to get dirty because I called a tow truck and they're gonna be here soon and everything is gonna be fine. See how easy that was? You can literally do this with anything. All you're doing is talking yourself through it. Now, the old way of doing it was, and it, let me just say this, once you get done and you're back to a healthy, happy, safe place, you can lock it in. You can do the hand, side of the hand and tap it, lock it in. There's also another locking point that some people talk about, but like I said, you can't really screw this up. You really can't. But once you work your way through it, then you, you, wanna, you wanna end it with something happy. Like everything in my life is amazing. Everything is coming up roses. I'm gonna have such a great day. I cannot wait to get to work. I'm gonna tell everybody about my story. This is so fantastic. Life is great. I'm gonna do blah, blah, blah. End it on a good note and then lock it in. Just do it, lock it in. And um, just do the process. But what you might find is that someone triggers you and you're really super angry at this person and you have to go in the other room to get away from them because you literally feel like you're gonna pop a cork. So guess what? You can go in the other room go in the bathroom, do whatever, go to the mirror and be like, oh my God, I hate that mf -er. I wish they would choke on a biscuit. And then you'll be like, oh, I really don't wish they would choke on a biscuit. That's a horrible thing to say. Why would you say that about someone? Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. I hope they don't choke on a biscuit. Why am I so angry? They really hurt my feelings. Oh, I'm angry because my feelings got hurt. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I remember this one time when I got my feelings hurt. And you just work through the process. Just work through it. Just tap, 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 tap. I did put an image in the group of the tapping points so that you can um, practice them so that you get them down. But just remember, this isn't something you can screw up. You wanna work your way through the problems and then you wanna be like, oh yes, I feel so much better now. I'm not really angry with that person. They brought up some memories from my childhood and I really kind of attached them to that person. But now I know that I'm safe and I don't have to feel that way anymore. Work your way through it and then say something positive. I'm going to have a great day. My life is amazing. Whatever it is, work your way through it. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. I'm safe. I'm secure. I can have anything I want. I am grateful, whatever it is, but work your way through it. If you have questions or problems and you need some additional help, I'm here to help you. But I think that this is, is amazing. It works really, really well. And it's helped me get through a couple of challenges. Like <sighs> something would normally, that would upset me and keep me kind of spinning for several hours the other day. I worked through it in minutes, minutes literally minutes. So I hope that y'all find this helpful. I hope that it's something that you can work into your daily, whatever, your daily life. Um, and I mean, if you want to start working through some things that you have, that you know you have, just sit down with your journal and pull up a page where you were talking about something that was bothering you and tap on that old page that you wrote in. This is like an extension of journaling. And it to me, it works better than journaling because it's so much faster and I don't have to write things down and I can just go through the motions real fast. 
So if you're concerned about something or if you have something that you've journaled on in the past, try this and see if it helps and just keep doing it. Keep doing it over and over again. And let me know your thoughts. I'm seriously curious to hear if anybody's done it and if they're having results and if they like it or don't like it, if they struggled, I'm here to help. So there's like, 6,000 people in this group and only a couple of you found me on this live. So I, I, I hate that Facebook does that, but um, hopefully more people will see this on the replay. And if you're catching it on the replay, let me know. Just type replay in the comments so that I know that you're there. And if you've ever done this before, I would love for you to comment and be like, yes, I've done it before. Um, but I forgot this was a possibility or whatever. If you've done it and it's worked, if you've done it and it didn't work, I'm happy to talk to you about the possibilities that maybe there's something going on, but give me your feedback. Oh, hey, Gina, I just now saw your comment. Um, give me your feedback. Let me know if there's a specific thing that you want to tap on that you're not really sure how to get started. Let me know, but I'm serious. You can't mess this up and the more research I've done on it, the more I've found it. You literally cannot mess it up. So just do it. Just do it. And work your way through those things. Get them out of you and feel amazing after you're done. So, and make sure you guys are paying attention because the whole month of December is 2021 finale. There's going to be lots of stuff going on in this group. So make sure you're paying attention and put your notifications on all so you see when the things pop up so all right y'all hopefully this was helpful if um if i can do anything to make it more clear or answer any questions please let me know see you soon